Hello everybody, it's Eric here again. I know it's been a while. Um, just a lot of stuff's been happening uh, with school and the whole like, coronavirus thing. Um, so I've just been stressed, I haven't had time to make videos, been trans uh, transitioning to online school and distant learning and all, all that sorts of stuff. Um, but I finally found a little bit of free time, so I'm going to make a video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be covering uh, how to make um, the, like, servers, what is it, what would I call it, in-game, like, multiplayer menu. So, like, you can access the multiplayer menu uh, from, like, where the LAN button would be if you're in single player, you know, like, open the LAN thing. Uh, I'm going to try not to ramble so much, but I don't have a script at all, and I'm just going to make this up kind of off the top of my head of how to do this. Uh, so, we'll see how this goes. Um, first what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a new GUI. Uh, let's see, GUI multiplayer in-game, good enough. Uh, I'm going to say extends GUI uh, multiplayer. I'm going to override that, and we're going to pass null in for the parent GUI, since we're going to be in-game, there is no GUI. Delete that. Then I want to override action perform. And we want to figure out um, when uh, we like we click buttons and stuff. Like when we when we want to like switch it to a server. You know what I mean? So let's first go to that uh, menu. So let's go to GUI multiplayer. Uh, where is it? GUI, why can't I see it? There we go, GUI multiplayer. Uh, so let's find uh, where the action perform buttons are. So we wanna say, so here, first we wanna know button ID one we see is connect selected. Um, and we also want for direct connect uh, button ID four. Um, okay, so then let's say if button dot, uh, what is it, id, yeah, equal to this one, or button dot, button dot id equals four, uh, then let's just call disconnect, which is a function we haven't written yet. But I will create it and we'll come back to that. Uh, and then we'll just call super dot action performs. Uh, so then it calls all this stuff in here. I also want, I guess, let's see. I want to override connect to selected. Uh, so then I also want to disconnect from the server that I'm currently on and connect to a new server. So disconnect, what do I need to do? So I need to check if the world is null, world, what is it? This.mc dot world, yeah. So let's first check if the world is not equal null. I don't know why it would be null, but I guess if you're like switching worlds, the world is null. So um, just kind of want to make sure before I call methods on it. So we're going to then say this dot mc dot the world dot uh, what is it quit send quitting disconnect packet uh, then we also want to say send mc dot we want to load uh, a world we'll just say no so we do kind of like when you quit single player uh, where we load a null world which is basically <laughs> unloads the current world first, yeah, so I guess we're loading a world, yeah, it's a little weird, and just go with it, we'll see if this works, uh, this dot mc dot display gui screen, display no gui screen, um, so we kind of clear all the gui's that are there, and then we also want to say, um, let's see, gui multiplayer has a parent screen, doesn't it, but we also would need 
that sucks. Okay. So let's find the parent screen. So we're going to say protected. And we will say this.parentScreen equals null as well. Um, I think that should be it for this GUI. Um, but we also now need to do the open to LAN button and change that. So I believe that's in what GUI in game menu? Let's see. Let me just make this bigger. Yeah, menu.share to LAN. Okay. So what I'm going to do is we're going to say if mc dot is, is there like a single player? Yeah, mc dot is single player. Um, so if we're in single player, let's add this button. Um, and we're going to put it in here. And then I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to put it in here. And, and just for ease sake, let's put that and equal it to there. You don't have to do that last step. It just it makes it easier for me to see. So if we're in single player, let's add the button. And then I guess we also, oh, you know what? Now that I'm looking at this code, so I should write a script. Um, let's remove this. We know we're going to be in single player. Um, actually, well, yeah, that might be an issue. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see if this works. Uh, so if we're in single player, we will open to LAN. Actually, yeah, no, that's gonna cause an issue. Ah, uh, okay, I'll cut this out. So we'll do this. We want to say, making sure that the button is disabled or whatever. We don't want people switching to multiplayer while they're in single player. Not a good call. Uh, then we're going to say else um, this dot button list dot add. Let's just copy. Why am I typing it out when I could just copy this? Remove the formatting and we're just going to call it like server list. Uh, rid of that. Don't need that. And we got to pick a number that doesn't exist. Let's do 100. We know for a fact that the button IDs don't go that high. So, do 100. Good number. Uh, cool. So now what I want to do is down here, I'm going to say case 100, which is the ID we said above. This.mc.displayGUIScreen new GUI uh, multiplayer multiplayer in game uh maybe let's find out if this actually worked or not um i'm gonna be a little bit surprised because i haven't actually tested out oh, yeah my my web server isn't up because i'm not in my dorm room okay that's fine Let's see. So let's first go to multiplayer. Do I not have internet? No, I don't. Okay, so let's just go to my mine. Oh wait, that's server name. Uh, Mineplex.com is the IP, I think. Oh wait, I'm not logged in as a person. Hold on. All right, you know, I figured I should just show this on camera um, for people who don't know how to do this. I'll leave the link in the description for this. We're going to go to Session Changer, go here, raw. First, let's make a class uh, called Session Changer. I know these are getting in the way. Put in whatever utilities. Session Changer. We're going to copy this, paste it here, perfect. Uh, okay, so now what we got to do is in here, I'm going to say session changer dot get instance dot set user um, and 
type in my credentials here. Gotta remember to blur this out. Uh, yeah. I think that's my credentials. I'm going to just scroll off of that just in case. So, yeah, let, let's find out. Are those my correct credentials? Not really sure what my Minecraft password is off the top of my head, but find out. All right, can I connect to the server now? Yeah, I can. Okay. So, here we go. Uh, now what I want to do is, no, I want to say server lists and let's just add a server because I don't actually have one yet. Uh, hypixel.net, is it the IP? I don't really know. Yeah, here we go. Join server. Hey, it works. We can switch servers. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, um, let me just make sure that this works in here, where I can open to land. Yep. Oh. That's a bug. Okay. I'll come back when I fix that. I really should have made a, uh, a script for this. Well, that was an easy fix. I haven't used case statements in so long, I forgot to type break here. And here, here we go. Now open to land works. And it's grayed out. Perfect. All right, uh, that'll be it for this tutorial, guys. I'll try to make more when I can. Um, yeah, thanks for sticking with me. I know my upload schedule is all over the place. Man. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Catch you in the next one, my dudes. Peace.